Sling 2.6 is out and now available on Hicksfield with unlimited generations until December 11th. That and Nano Banana Pro. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Kling 2.6, show you some of my testing so you can decide if it's worth your time or not. So let's get right into it. So right now I've loaded up Hicksfield and I'm in the video tab. So generally speaking, Hicksfield is an aggregator, so you can choose different models, but today's focus is all about 2.6. This guy right here, this is basically preset templates. So if you click this, you can actually choose a bunch of different presets that are here. If you don't really like prompting, this is a good start. So we know what we're doing. So I'm just gonna use the general model and let's start with a couple tests. This first one that I have here, I uploaded a simple image I generated with Nano Banana Pro. And all I asked was to do a slow zoom in with a woman coming in to sit on a chair. And the cool thing about Kling is it actually supports audio as well as different duration lengths and different aspect ratios. So let me play this just so you can see it. Overall, it did a great job listening to the prompt. It didn't do anything extreme, you know, did my slow zoom in and it actually brought in an extra character, which I wasn't sure if it was gonna do that. So let's do something from scratch. So I'm gonna upload an image here. I'm gonna grab this ethereal looking image and I'm gonna say day, night, time-lapse, men are talking, and then fade to black. So we'll add some cinematic language there. You can choose to leave enhance on or off. This is going to add a little bit more language to your prompt on the back end. Um, I've noticed that it'll actually add a dialogue sometimes, which is like a nice added benefit, and do extra things. I mean, that's the whole point of enhancing. So it'll make it a little bit, a little spicier, right? Then you can choose if you want audio on or off. Kling and VO are like one of the very few models that actually support audio. So you have that option. And then you can choose obviously your model, the duration and aspect ratio. If you want free unlimited use, you can toggle this on. It will put it in the standard queue. If you are a paid subscriber, you can just use your credits to go a little bit faster. So I'm gonna hit generate and we're gonna send that off. And what I like about this is that I can actually keep on working while this is thinking. I don't need to wait for this. So let me upload another image and we'll do two at once. I like this one. And I'm just gonna do day night time lapse. We'll keep that there and I'll leave enhance on and we'll see what, what clever things it does. And once it's done uploading, we'll send that off. And then we'll also do one more test with a person. Cause I think a lot of the content Kling will be used for is probably more for like people doing things rather than architecture. So it's good to kind of mix things around. So I generated an image of this guy standing in front of this awesome Brutus architecture. And what I can do here is actually change the model to do aerial pullback. So I like the look of it and I can actually control what he says. So I can say, man says, I designed this. Do you like it? And that's all I have to say. And it will actually follow that script, which is kind of cool. So I can hit generate and we'll send that off. And while this is waiting, I want to show you a comparison I did to VO3 uh, with that previous example with the uh, woman. Cause I thought it was interesting cause it's really important to see like where all these models stack up to each other. So this is the VO version. And I noticed the, the camera action, it did a lot more, um, but I feel like they're good for different reasons. Like this, if I wanted like a dynamic shot, yeah, I think this is really good. I think that the quality is is great as well, but I didn't want it. I just wanted a simple zoom in and I said a slow zoom in. So I feel like it didn't listen there and it did a little, little extra, but it's good to just kind of see what each model thinks and interprets. I feel like as time goes on, these models are getting better and better. So here we've got our little barbecue scene. Let's try our day night time-lapse. Okay, there we go. Let's turn off. I love it when exterior lighting kicks on, so that's well done. So no complaints there. Then we've got this one. This is our day night time lapse, and the men are talking. And then fade to black. I'm it's curious if it does it fade to black. Lapse, it? Yes, the clouds the are moving. Into night reminds me to seize every moment. And it, it was starting to fade to black. I think if I extended the duration just a little bit more, it'd do that. So you can see it's doing a good job responding to multiple things because we're talking about the sky, the people talking, and then kind of like a camera effect with the fade to black. So. Very nice that we're seeing that. So while we wait for the last image to generate, let me show you a couple extra things you can do. You can do bulk select, so you can select a bunch of images, bulk download, or add them to folders, which is really nice. 
So if you're curious about edit, what will happen is it'll actually swing it over to the sister model, Kling 01. And so a typical example here is you could relight it. So right now how it's kind of like a daytime, I could actually say make it nighttime or upload reference images for it to follow that specific style. Let's say you want to do something like cartoony, you could do that as well. So you have that as an option. You could favorite it for easy finding, add it to a folder, download, but most importantly, you can upscale. This is something you guys are always asking me about. You know, can you upscale video? I feel like the video upscale world is still very, very new. I feel like there's only a couple players doing that. And there you go, there's that deal again. The Unlimited Nano Banana Pro and Kling 2.6. So all I have to do is upload media, and I've done this already, so I'm going to use a version I did before. And this is a 4K resolution image. So check that out. Look at the, you can see the scale factor right now. So we're about 2100 wide by 3840 high. So that's a pretty big, big jump from where we were. So all it takes is you selecting the model. You can choose between SOAR 2, Higgs Field, Upscale, or Topaz. Topaz has kind of become the industry standard, so I went with them. So it's nice that you can go up to 4K. So it looks good, everything looks sharp and everything. So that's great. And then just as we'll test and zoom in a bit. So I'm holding control to zoom in. I mean, it looks, looks good to me here. So it's kind of a nice feature that you could just zoom in there. Awesome. So you've got that as well. So to swing back, all you have to do is go back to video, create video, and here's our guy. And let's see if he says, I designed this, do you like it? With the aerial pullback. I designed this. Do you like it? So that's the benefit of the, the pullback template. Like I have to prompt all that. So as you can see here, listen, or he said exactly what I scripted. So if you need to do it like any early storyboarding where you're just trying to figure out dialogue and placeholder content, I think this is a really good model to do all that, especially when you're getting unlimited use. Again, this is here until December 11th. So definitely keep that in mind uh, for testing. And let's say you've generated a video, but you want another version of it. All you have to do is hit rerun and I'll generate another go. I was actually doing that earlier when I was testing if, if a woman would always appear. And in all my tests it did. So this is one. So she's there. There's another one. She's there as well. That's the via one. And then this is another one. So as you can see, happened every single time. In this one, she actually talked because I had the enhance on. The other ones I took enhance off and she didn't talk because it didn't expand the prompt. So kind of interesting like what one little slider can do. So just to show you guys some other ones, here's another one I did of a bird blind. So this one's kind of fun. We see the birds like flying by, the wind passing by, because again, it's a time lapse, right? We also see some focal length changing, which is pretty neat. So it seems pretty versatile, listens really well, so definitely give it a shot. Again, you're getting unlimited usage. If you're curious about overall pricing and everything, you know, keep in mind each of these generations, it's 10 credits. Always important to think about like the currency when you go into pricing. So over here, 10 credits, you know, this is what you're getting. So this is looking at the annual plan, right? Just monthly, just so you see that. We've got 600 credits, right? So if you go with pro, 600 ultimate, 1200, not a bad deal. That's 120 videos, right? It's 60 videos. That's a lot of videos, you know, like who, who's generating all that. But again, keep in mind, we're just talking about cling, right? Like we have the image generator, you have other video models. You also have popcorn. I made a video about that earlier. So you've got a lot in this plan. So pretty, pretty sweet deal. Um, if you have any questions about, you know, Higgs field in general, I've been talking about them for a bit now. Uh, I've been using them as well. Let me know in the comments, try and get back to you. And if you made it this far, please consider liking and subscribing to the video and channel. It really helps me out. See you in the next video. Bye.